Kind of live from the Spring Bank Building on the West Potomac campus, the West Potomac Academy presents the 2021 Academy Awards. Now here's our host, Mr. Yule. Welcome to the 2021 West Potomac Academy Awards. Now I'm going to send it over to our school administrator, Ms. Kathy Baldry. Hello and welcome to the 2020 Academy Award Ceremony. My name is Kathy Bodring, and I am a proud administrator of the West Potomac Academy. We have so many students to celebrate this year. Through another year of virtual, then concurrent instruction, all of our students have risen above the challenge and have done amazing work. And we are so excited to share those achievements with you today. I want to take a moment to thank everybody in the Academy, from our instructors to our support staff. You will be meeting all of our instructors throughout this ceremony, but you won't be meeting individually our support staff, so I would like to thank them specifically right now. Mr. Donnell Fisher, who is our department chair, Ms. Nancy Indelicato, our ESOL support teacher, Ms. Matthew and Mr. Morrissey, our SPED support teachers, Ms. Maria Kappel, our career experience specialist, Ms. Meredith Ayala, our academy counselor, and Ms. Jen Barber, our academy ad administrative assistant. So we are excited to get this going, and the best person to kick this off is our own West Potomac High School principal, Ms. Tangie Millard. I'm going to invite her to say a few words right now. Thank you, Mrs. Bodring. It is always my special honor to be here with you at the Academy Awards Ceremony for West Potomac Academy. I am lucky because I get to be the principal of West Potomac High School and get to be a part of the work that our academy does every year. And I am so extremely proud of all of our students, West Post students and region students alike, for the work that you all do every single year. It always amazes me what you're able to produce from your learning. Our teachers, our staff that work with you and dedicate their life to this work really shows and their pride in you and that's what tonight is all about. So even in 2021 where all things have been interesting, I am so happy and excited for your accomplishments this year as Academy students. And I would be remiss if I don't mention one other thing. I want to make sure that we honor a very, very special person, Ms. Beaudry. This is her sixth year as our Academy Administrator, and she is going to be retiring, and I am going to die in the process, <laughs> along with many, many others of our Academy staff who love and adore her because the time and effort and commitment and passion that she has placed in the academy over these last six years has made this academy a premier academy for the county and I would say for our region in the state of Virginia. So I thank you, Ms. Bodring, for everything that you have done, for your love, for your support, and for your tenacity. She's my partner in crime when it comes to like yelling at people um, at the district, I'm just saying, so that we can get the things that we need and to make sure that you all have what you need to be excellent in the, in the areas that you are excellent in. So thank you, Ms. Bodring. Thank you, Ms. Millard. Without further ado, I am going to hand this over to our MC for the evening, our very own criminal justice instructor, Mr. Danny Yule. Hey, I'm going to the old, good old careers class. This is a great class where you can learn about, uh, obviously, dentistry. Uh, if you want to work in the profession as a dentist or a hygienist or work in any administrative function within the uh, dental office, this class is the class to come to where you can learn all about the ins and outs of the dental field. And also, they talk about how to keep the old pearly whites clean and the, uh, the gums healthy. And that's why I come prepared and I'm ready to go to get my old pearly whites checked out. Hello, this is Renee Guerrero. I am the dental career instructor for level one and dental career instructor for level two. Even though this year has been a little bit different than others, we still have um, been able to bring in virtual speakers. Uh, we still have been able to do clinical competencies on an electronic simulation level. We'll still be able to participate in internships outside of the classroom. With all these difficulties aside, I feel like a lot of our students progressed and kept up the good work in, in the field, in the classroom itself. 
Um, and here is, I'm here to honor the Dental Student of the Year for Level 1 and Dental Student of the Year for Level 2. The Dental Student for the Year for Level 1 is Romina Merwise. The Dental Student for the Year for Level 2 is Krisa Rodriguez. One, two, three, four. Hey, I'm here at the pharmacy technician class and I'm filling up a couple of prescriptions. This class we learn about uh, medicine, how to uh, fill out prescriptions and how to read prescriptions and make sure we got the right medicine. And if any, uh, um, there's any bad interaction with other medicines or any side effects, we make sure that we catch that here in the pharmacy class. It's a wonderful class. So let me finish this prescription. Eight, nine, 10, Yep, that'll do it. And let's see here. Oops. Hi, I'm Joy Andrews, the pharmacy tech teacher. The first thing I want to do is thank all my students for sticking with me during this COVID time. We made it through the end of the year. And here I'm here to announce the winners of the students of the quarter and then the overall winner for student of the year. For first quarter, Leela Ermias for uh, level one, Jason Sherrill for level two. Second quarter, Hernan Arita Serna for level one, Lana France for level two. Third quarter, Paola Morales Espinosa for level one, Abby Fraser for level two. Fourth quarter, Alana Tamayo for level one, Karen Trejo Gonzalez for level two. And the overall winner for level one, Leela Ermias. And level two, Abby Frazier. Let me say something about these two students just briefly. Leela is a wonderful student. She's bright and articulate. She's helpful to teachers and students alike. She's always on top of things. Abby is a joy to have in class. She is the first to offer help to anyone, whether it's a teacher or a student. She takes learning to heart. She's dedicated to her cause and exhibits academic curiosity and strong work ethic. Hope you're getting, you're getting, you're doing real good, Mr. Johnson. You're on your way to recovery. Just a few more days and you'll be out of here. Hey, uh, meet my new friend here, uh, Mr. Johnson, a new patient. We've been taking care of him for the last since the beginning of the school. But uh, anyway, uh, we've been checking all his vitals, making sure everything is all right, and making sure we transport him where he needs to go safely. And this is uh, some of the things that they learn here, right in the nursing class, uh, how to follow uh, medical practice, and make sure they follow all the policies and procedures governing nursing. It's a tough job. It is a job where we help people heal. It is a great profession to be in. So let's go on in. Mr. Johnson, so I can check those old vitals and make sure you're okay, buddy. Hello, my name is Ann Vernon, and I'm one of the instructors in the Introduction to Nursing course. I would like to present the Student of the Year Award this year to Megan Marhanka. She has been an inspiring student for many reasons. She's a frequent contributor to class discussions, including sharing and bringing in resources that she shares with her instructors and the whole class. She's maintained a really strong classroom work ethic with uh, good attendance, assignments, study, and subject mastery. Even more important for this field of healthcare, she has brought her enthusiasm, her empathy, and her caring into the in-person class and in lab time. It has been truly a privilege to work with her because as they say, the character of a nurse is as important as the knowledge she possesses. Congratulations, Megan. Hi, my name is Leah Fry and I have been privileged to teach with Mrs. Vernon this year in the Introduction to Nursing uh, program here at the West Potomac Academy. Some of the highlights have been just working with the students and really getting to know them and working alongside them to work on their career plans, see them bloom in their skills, and really increase their knowledge. Um, I've had four different students of the quarter, and I'd like to say their names. Leslie Hernandez-Garcia, Constanza Mangiari, uh, Eugenia Hyming, and Leslie Aviles. 
But I have one student who has really stood out all year long. In September, his family all got COVID. His parents were both hospitalized. Um, and now everybody is okay. But it was a really stressful time, and he actually started taking the class asynchronously. In November, he started working almost full time to help support his family. And he has remained a stellar student, never getting behind in his work and performing outstanding in every assignment that he has done. Um, his name is Aaron Pozo Aranda. He is uh, doing a great job in this class. I have been constantly amazed at the work he has produced. And he also just told me that he has a full ride scholarship to Virginia Tech in medicinal chemistry. So Aaron, I just wanted to give you a huge congratulations, um, not just on your work, but for getting through this year with um, such amazing grace. Congratulations, Aaron. Some brief words from our career experience counselor, Ms. Maria Kappel. Career experiences are at the heart of the academy programs here at West Potomac. They offer opportunities for students to transfer real-life classroom skills to the workplace. Whether it's through an internship, a job shadow, or a clinical observation, these professional experiences can provide valuable job experience and can lead to employment. Throughout the pandemic, we transitioned into the virtual world by hosting professional guest speakers and presentations and career prep workshops all online. But this spring, students had the option to go out on site for a career experience. Innova Physician Services hosted 27 medical assistant students in 10 specialty clinics for clinical observations. 11 pharmacy technician students completed 40 hour internships at seven participating giant pharmacies. And six dental career students completed 40 hour internships, each at a lo local dental practice. Advanced professional TV media production students participated in an internship for credit pro for Advanced professional TV media production students participated in the internship for credit program where they completed 280 hours of internship work and career prep throughout the school year. They worked with a variety of businesses and clients and completed a range of media projects. In fact, this entire Virtual Academy Awards event is their final project. Let's watch some highlights from the TV media students and go behind the scenes. I would like to thank our business partners and academy teachers who support these incredible career experiences for our students. And congratulations to the students who participated. I hope you will continue to take on learning opportunities because success is not a destination, it is a journey. Best of luck to the graduating seniors along your professional journey. We hope that you will come back and share enriching career experiences with future academy students. Wow, what an intense course, being a 911 dispatcher. When someone calls needing service, uh, police, fire, or ambulance, and these people call with, with uh, uh, wanting service right away, and you gotta be able to understand the call and route it to the right place. And if someone needs immediate assistance, give them the assistance over the phone and being calm and assuring people that help is on the way. A 911 dispatcher is a vital part of our uh, system of delivering service to our citizens. And uh, hey, my hat's off to anyone that wants to be a 911 dispatch. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm Colin Flanagan. I'm the teacher with 911 dispatch here at West Potomac High School. What we're doing is we are giving out the student of the year, and that is going to be to Noah. Now, just to give you a little overview, what we do is we work with DPSC, which is the 911 service with Fairfax County. Students at the end of the year can work to test for their certification in entry level 911. What NOAA's done this year is not just get good grades, 
not just show up, not just turn in all his homework. What he did is he would actually help other students in class. And that's how I pick a student of the year and I look for in student of the quarter. Because you may be able to get all your homework done, you may be able to uh, get good test grades, but if you're not helping to get the class and the other people in the class do better, you are just doing part of the job. Because 911 is about helping other people. And Noah not only just did well for himself, he helped others in the class, and I think that would make him a great 911 dispatcher. With the EMT, we save lives on the fly. If you have trauma, we're here to help. Blood pressure dropping. Stand! Stand! Hi, my name is Colin Flanagan, and I teach EMT here at West Potomac. And I am here to give my student of the year to Serena Denham. Serena Denham did more than just show up to class and get good grades. What she did is she actually helped other students, all the while dealing with, you know, a parent who had to go to the hospital because of COVID and the car that had broken down and the National Registry EMT website, which messed up her application a little bit. But, you know, working with her and her calling up, calling them up, uh, she was able to get her certification and stuff through. So I just want to thank Serena. She did a great job. Um, I talked to some of the people I used to work with in the fire department when she was riding the ambulance. She said that she was very enthusiastic and would jump you know, right on the ambulance when they got the call and love to help. So I'm sure she'll be a great EMT in the future, just like she was a great student this year. Interesting. All right. All right. Oh, wait, hey guys, I'm here at the uh, medical assistant class. This is a good class where you learn how to uh, take a patient's vitals, put information in the chart, uh, uh, do a quick cursory interview of the patient and making sure that you can forward that information over to the doctor or the physical, uh, the uh, physician assistant. And uh, it's a good entry level into the medical field and, uh, and you'll learn about all the rules and regulations within this class to govern how to process uh, incoming patients. Oh, I think I'll take my temperature. Well, I'll go inside first because I can do my vitals. Hello, I'm Miss Laura. I am one of the medical assisting instructors. Hello, I'm Mr. Martin, the other medical assistant instructor. We had another great year in medical assistant this year, even with all the COVID restrictions. We had several students do job shadowing at the Inova Health System. They all had a great experience. We've had uh, quite a few students do the certification exam. That's going well. We also had uh, several students come to in-person learning in, back in November, and uh, again, starting this March, we have several students in with us right now. Okay, so I am going to nominate all students of all quarters and my overall winner. So quarter one is Alicia Korinke, quarter two is Ornez Yakivi, quarter three was Samia Lagon, and quarter four, is Stephanie Hernandez and my overall winner which demonstrated leadership initiative compassion and intellectual curiosity it is Ornez Jakibi. congratulations girls well done my uh, <clears throat> students of the quarter first quarter Isabel so second quarter Gabby Loza my third quarter winner Jeremy Williams and the student of the quarter for fourth quarter Yvonne Aggie Pong and my overall winner, student of the year, Isabel So. Well, one, two, left, right, left, right, hey, turn, left, right, individual, hold, right, face. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the junior ROTC class. This is a great class where they learn about leadership, discipline, esprit de corps, how to just work together as a team. They do a lot of physical activities. As a lot also a learning just a great class overall and talking about the military and how, how can it benefit you as a person it's a wonderful class and I salute everybody that takes that course man it's a great class oh tent hut I'm going in going in one two three four hello I am Colonel Gary Buller senior army instructor for the West Potomac High School junior ROTC program Today I'm here to present the Academy Award to the Outstanding Senior Academy Cadet. This year's recipient is Cadet Joshua Oliver. 
that Oliver's been in the program for three years. He's held the position of platoon leader, platoon sergeant, and come to commander. That Oliver will be headed to George Mason University and he received a three-year ROTC scholarship. That Oliver is an outstanding cadet, outstanding student, and an outstanding leader. We wish him the best of luck. Congratulations on your award. Hey, I'm here at the biotechnology class putting together, you know, just seeing what I got here, a little DNA, a little organisms, and uh, that's what we do here at the uh, biotech class. We uh, actually, you know, learn how to improve the lives of plants and animals, and uh, we go around and, um, you know, seeing how uh, the functions of microorganisms, and we go into all the stuff like bioprocessing, analyzing DNA, and looking at, uh, you know, types of medicines and whatnot. Very interesting class, a lot of, a lot of things going on here. So let me see what I've got here and see what I uh, created. Salayana Abibi is our Academy Award winner for exploring the language of medicine. She brought a vigor and passion we've rarely seen. She has a drive to become a doctor and she works hard rising to the top in knowledge and co a consistent stellar work ethic. I hope Dr. Abibi could be my physician one day as I can see her heart of willingness to help others, her integrity and her sharp attention to detail. <laughs> So uh, you say the uh, hip bone is connected to the leg bone. So where's the funny bone? It, you get it? Funny bone. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go on over to physical and occupational therapy. Let me check some things out here. Yep, that's dead in the doorknob. Hi, Ms. Conclu. I'm the teacher for physical and occupational therapy level one and level two here at West Potomac Academy. Just wanted to take a moment to say congratulations and great job done to all of my students. You are scholars, you are athletes, you are musicians, you are dancers, and so many other things that I didn't have a chance to learn about in this unusual virtual year. But I just wanted to give you know a clap and a hats off to all of you. Um, you also had an opportunity to be Academy Ambassadors. You um, became members of the National Technical Honor Society. And Level 1 had an opportunity to do dual enrollment with NOVA and earn three college credits. I could go on, but I know my time is limited. So I wanted to take a moment to share with you the Level 1 students of the quarter. For quarter one, we have Ms. Nia Baskin, a junior at Edison High School. Quarter two is Naya Karang, senior at Woodson High School. And then quarter three, is Ashley Castro, a junior at Edison High School, and then quarter four, Brian Hernandez, a senior at Lewis High School. And in terms of the overall student of the year for physical therapy and occupational therapy level one, that would be Ms. Nia Baskin, junior at Edison High School. And then for my level twos, quarter one is Ms. Patricia Canu, senior at Edison High School. Quarter two, Ashley Walthall, senior for Mount Vernon High School. And then quarter three was April Lehman, a senior at Edison High School, and then quarter four would be Ms. Sarah Guckenberger, a senior at Fairfax High School. And then the overall outstanding uh, student of the year would be Ms. Ashley Walthall. Congratulations again to all PT and OT level one and level two students. Great job. Uh, seniors, um, please, please, please enjoy that next adventure. I know many of you are headed off to college. Uh, and uh, some into work, some into the military. Juniors, I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you, everyone. Hey, I'm just in here putting some final touches on a beat that I created here in music computer technology. This is a wonderful class where you can just slice and dice your beats, put it together, get that right sound, create yourself a CD, and man, sit back and listen to what you made. This is uh, this is classic, just wonderful. Hey, I like that beat. Hello, my name is Amira Young. I am long-term subbing for Philip Carter in music technology for the Academy. I started in February and I'm there to the end of the year. Uh, I would like to recognize and congratulate my student of the quarter, which is Jason Sorto. 
Jason Sordo creates music on a daily basis. He writes lyrics. He goes and music. He's not really instrumentalist, but he writes music using technology every day, using FL Studios, and uh, he creates new beats and uh, is very creative and writes and sings every day. And I just know that he's going to be very successful in what he does. And my student of the whole year is Conrad McIntosh. Conrad is phenomenal. He can play several instruments. He is um, a singer and uh, definitely a songwriter, plays guitar, and he shares with us just about every day all of his music. And Conrad is, um, is a, it's just very successful, comes in working every day as hard as he can to finish all of my assignments. And I just know that he's gonna be successful in whatever he does and chooses to do. Hi, West Potomac Academy. Ms. Ayala, your West Potomac Academy counselor here. I wanna congratulate all National Technical Honor Society members. I encourage you to continue your commitment to CTE and to your personal excellence. Shout out to all of our West Potomac Academy ambassadors. You guys did an amazing job of representing West Potomac Academy this year. I wish all students all the best. Oh, welcome to dance class here. Uh, they do a lot of good stuff here at dance. They do modern, jazz, hip hop, Temporary, whatever got a beat to it, they probably do it right in this classroom. And that's, it's a good place to get a lot of activity, get the body moving, and this is the class to take. Dance, baby. Okay, so dancers, we've danced in our kitchens, we've danced in your bedrooms, not we, but you have. <laughs> um, you've also danced out in your deck, outside, any space that you could find, you made it work. We were able to get guest artists virtually in to teach you, hold mock auditions, uh, just continue the year as normal as we possibly could, and you guys did a fantastic job. So my outstanding student of the year is a um, second year dance student, but a dance three level. Uh, I met him two years ago. I met him at the electives fair, and I was so happy that I am able to work with him and continue to work with him. Uh, he is a student ambassador. He is a Cappies dancer for the Cappies award ceremony. And, sorry, I ran out of air. <laughs> and uh, so he's a, <laughs> take that over. <laughs> so he is a Cappies dancer. He is a student ambassador. He is a leader in the classroom. And he is just an all around, just wonderful person and has a genuine love of the performing arts. So our outstanding student for dance for the year is Zach Cullison. Hey, I'm on my way to the early childhood careers class. I'm trying to say that five times. But anyway, this is a great class and uh, they learn about uh, child development from birth to about five years of age, and all the laws governing how to take care of a child in a home or in a, uh, uh, a daycare. And um, it's a pretty interesting class to learn how the baby's brain is developing and the type of nutrition they're supposed to get, and, and just basic overall safety res uh, regulations. But um, I'm learning this one here, cut the baby some slack, lay them on their back. I think I can pass that test, so I'm ready to go in here and show them what I know. Thank you. Good morning. I am Jamie Carfang, and I teach early childhood careers. Um, early childhood careers is an academy class that prepares students for working with young children. Um, as with most students, the beginning of the year was a struggle in this new virtual learning environment. But this student works super hard to get organized, to figure out the online learning platforms, and to ask questions and participate regularly. She has done an excellent job overcoming a new learning environment and never gave up. She comes to class excited to learn and on time each class period. She participates, asks questions, and turns in her work on time. She is a rock star in my class. The student of the year in early childhood careers goes to Martha Ailman. 
Martha, I'm so proud of you. Wow, fellas, that criminal justice class is a lot of fun. They do a lot of things like shoot, don't shoot scenarios. They learn about their constitutional rights. They have the canine dogs over, FBI agents, marshals. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a fun class, isn't it, fellas? Criminal justice, Mr. Brian Culligan, please announce your award winners now. Announce your award winners now. All right, the award for Student of the Year in Criminal Justice 1 goes to Perina Nunez. Perina, just an outstanding job this year in criminal justice. Always, to arrive, always arrived first to class and just did a great job. Uh, very engaging in all of our class assignments, uh, class discussions. You did a great job interacting with your peers and your teachers. Uh, and we're always eager and ready to learn. Just an excellent job. Really look forward to having you in criminal justice too. Congratulations, well earned. Student of the Year in Criminal Justice 2 goes to Andrew Oheen Nayarko. Andrew, great job again this year. Uh, outstanding job throughout well, interacting with your peers, with your teachers. Uh, in the past, working with our guest speakers and just uh, and the activities that we did. Always stood out, always just did a fabulous job. Uh, really going to miss you in the Criminal Justice program, but uh, excellent job, Andrew. Student of the Year for Criminal Justice 2. Congratulations. Here at TV Media Productions, they got to make sure they get the right shot, the right angle, and they got to make sure to be able to cover it. Hold, uh, camera one, camera two, are you in place? Okay, we're going live! Mr. G, here in our studio, we're celebrating the Academy Awards. It's been a really weird year in the Academy this year, not just in the Academy, but everywhere. But we're through it. It's the end of the year. This is the Academy Awards. We're celebrating our level one Academy Award winner this year is Aaron Nelson. Brilliant in everything he does. Can't give him enough stuff. He just turns everything in and is amazing with whatever he does. Acting, videoing, editing, he's amazing at everything. Our level two, three award winner. He's been here, he's acted in everything, he's done showing, he's done the rat boy, he's done everything. Owen Fleet is our level 2-3 award winner of the year. Uh, Owen's been incredible, he's always here, he's always ready to work, he's always professional. Uh, Owen's going to put me to shame one day, there's no doubt about that. I probably should have led with something nicer. Oh well. Owen's great. Aaron's great. Our class is awesome. That's why we do this. Uh, introducing the Concurrent Senior Award is Mr. Martin. Hello, I'm Mr. Martin, uh, one of the medical assistant teachers this year. I am going to introduce the Academy Concurrent Student of the Year for this year. I'll uh, read all our accolades first and then tell you who the Academy Award winner is. She came to in-person class in November and she's doing in-person class right now with us. She attends every session. She's the first to help her uh, students in completion of tasks and assignments. She has lots of character and leadership traits that she shows daily in her uh, activities in the classroom and uh, extracurriculars. She uh, plays sports, uh, varsity girls soccer, starting goalkeeper, National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society. It goes on and on and on about this young lady, my uh, concurrent student of the year. She's been admitted to the University of Virginia and she's gonna major in biochemistry and she wants to be a pediatric oncologist. The Academy Award for Concurrent Student of the Year goes to Isabel So. Congratulations, Isabel, well-deserved. Introducing the Administrative Award is Mr. Colligan. Okay, so the Academy Administrator's Award goes to Andrew Oheen Nyarko. Andrew, just an excellent year in criminal justice. For the last two years, you've just done an outstanding job in class, uh, both academically and the way you interact with the teachers, your peers, all of our guest speakers. Uh, you stood out um, and always, always just ready to learn, and we really appreciate that. No doubt you're going to go on and do great things in your senior year and as you head to college, but uh, excellent year in criminal justice. We're going to miss you, uh, but this, you get the Administrator's Award for the Academy this year. Congratulations, Andrew. Now to introduce the West Potomac Senior Award is Mr. Jim Papa. 
Hey, it's Mr. G. I'm back again to announce the West Potomac Academy Senior Award. Uh, this award goes out to uh, for all of the Academy classes. It's an overall winner for all of the classes in the Academy. Um, I am thrilled to be able to announce that this year's winner is from TV Media Production, and it is no one other than Owen Fleet. Let's go! Hi. Owen's brilliant. He's here for everything. He's always willing to learn. He's always ready to work. He's always professional. He's creative. He's brilliant. He's, I mean, hopefully I'll be working for him one day. Owen Fleet. Yeah. Well, that concludes this year's 2021 Academy Awards. See you next year. Take care. Take two. Are we on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And advanced professional TV production students. Advanced professional TV media production students. Or TV and media production students. I'm assuming you'll cut all this out. Okay. <laughs> it's like she was um um. Just start over. You're good. Don't right. worry. Uh, reminds and different things to keep com the communication going, the chain of um, the chain of chain of communication going. Are you going to be? Here? Yeah, can't even speak. Hey, I'm just here in the uh, TV. Shut here in computer music to technology. Man, I can't. Wait. I'm over here at the pharmacy tech, trying to fill. Uh. <laughs> sorry, it's all right. Early childhood. <laughs> Early childhood careers. Class. Oh, I'm sorry, man. So somehow I can't get the names of these classes, man. Uh, building, uh, building. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys, that criminal justice class it, it seems like a good. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It wasn't even on. <laughs> Criminal Justice, Mr. Brian Culligan, come out with your hands up and announce the awards win winners. Do it now. Announce the award winners. No, man, we taping, man. We taping. What do you want me to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You don't come out. You're not in this. You're telling me to come out. No. <laughs> Get back in your classroom, sir. You can come out in the video if you want. Let's go. Oh, excuse me. All right. <laughs> Is that supposed to be doing anymore, man? The EMT, we save lives on the fly. When you have trauma, we're here to help. <laughs> That's okay. The EMT, we save lives on the fly. If you have trauma, we're here to help. <laughs> fine, fine. See you next year. Hopefully. Nope. No way should I say it now. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Got it. <laughs>